where I'd like to start today is our frame. And I feel fortunate to have been able to develop the world's first molded carbon fi fiber frame working with a family friend. Carbon fiber is amazing. It's half the weight of aluminum, twice as strong as steel. And you look at other industries where weight and performance are critical, you find carbon fiber. Uh, we've taken uh, our icon concept, we've refined it for the ultra and started by really focusing on trying to reduce some weight and then also what came of it was a stiffer, stronger, and more efficient frame. Yeah, you can see that there's uh, shape. It matches the curvature of your back. We left the top stays straight up. That way, when you hit your load lifters, it actually curves into your back and gives it the shape that it needs, so a nice ergonomic shape to it. Uh, the frame has incredible stiffness vertically, but still moves really well with your body, so it makes it very, very comfortable. We've got an extended track system compared to what we had on the Icon, so we're going to get more adjustment. And then we've also added a second frame size. So this shorter frame will fit torso links down to 15 inches now. So between 15 and 17 and a half is what we're suggesting to go with the, calling this the regular size frame. And then the tall frame would be from that 17 and a half up to top end would be, yeah. you know, well over 22, 23. So here is a, uh, the new ultra suspension on the frame. Completely redeveloped our suspension system for the, for the Ultra. Um, focus on reducing the weight, but still making a system that was incredibly comfortable to carry and could still carry really heavy loads. Talk first about the, uh, let's talk about the materials. Uh, on the outside of the, the suspension, you have 160D Cordura, which is our pack fabric that we've been using forever. Uh, we have a new material, uh, the next to skin material, and this is a spacer mesh that is found um, used by Zamberlin in our, our boot program, actually. We found it. it's out of Italy. A really good track record of durability on, on this fabric. It's really comfortable. It's light and weight, perfect match for the Ultra system. Uh, just like on our previous Icon packs, uh, the load bearing in the shoulder strap is done by the Velcro. Which is a 3, 3M product. Has a, has a sheer strength of 17 pounds per square inch, so incredibly strong material. And then with, with the track system actually just keeps the shoulder straps in alignment and there's an attachment point here to keep the Velcro from separating if you'd happen to have the load lifters completely loose. We have a new part here uh, that we worked with Duraflex to create. Um, it's a T-lock part that makes it really easy to change out the shoulder straps. You just turn it sideways, put it back in, works incredibly well. On that. And we found that in, in testing, it's, it's going to be a little bit more durable than the webbing and the triglide that we used in the past, and just kind of cleans up the design a little bit. Absolutely. And we've, I've got a patent pending on this part, um, along with, we, we have patents just about finalized on the track system as well. So back to materials inside, it's a dual layer of foam on the shoulder straps, uh, perforated foam with a next to skin, an open, uh, open cell foam next to skin, really comfortable. Um, really resists compression long, long term, so good material there. Hydration is held on with these O-rings. It just wraps around the, the tube and clips back in on itself. And I found I really like that. It's quick, it it's easy. It works incredibly well and it's really lightweight. Yep. Sternum strap adjustment just this goes into this webbing and you can easily just put that part out and put it into the next one up or down and yep. really easy. A new design for us this year on this. And I really wanted to find something that was lighter weight, a little more streamlined design than on the Icon. And I really like what we've come yeah, with. Yeah. I like the, f the fixed position of the sternum strap. I think it works great. It's always in the same yep. spot, no adjustment needed. Allows us to move down to a smaller size webbing and hardware also to save weight on that. So let's move on to the, onto the hip belt. Or the most significant change, hopefully we can see this, is moving the frame from the ex outside of this plastic sheeting so that it's sandwiched in between the lumbar pad and the plastic on the back. And that allows the frame to move closer to your back. All of your weight that you're carrying moves closer to your back, makes it much more comfortable yep. system. So a really significant change in the way that's designed. Continue to have a pocket that's U-shaped so we get some, you get the movement out of it. You still have the pivoting hip belt. Makes it really comfortable. You've got a a strap here to hold gun, uh, bear spray. This is removable. If you want to really cut down on your weight, you can remove, we can completely remove that. That system has 
uh, loop material on the outside so you can still put on our hip belt pouches and they'll attach there. Internally, we've got three layers of, of foam. We've got two closed cell foam layers on the outside and then sandwiched in between is an open cell layer of foam. That makes this hip belt really, really comfortable. I know all of us have used it this year. Been really, really yeah. impressed with with how comfortable it is. We've got a solid piece of polyurethane that runs through the back of this setup, and then all of our um, attachment points are then anchored to it. Our frames anchored to it, and it gives it makes it for a really stable platform for carrying heavy loads. And that's it's important on this setup to understand that that we anchor everything into a, sh a polyurethane sheeting here that makes it stiff and strong and gives us a platform for, for heavy load carrying. Let's talk a little bit about the, the lumbar pad. We put a lot of time and effort in trying to get the sizing of this just right uh, for the average guy. Uh, we do, it is adjustable. We have a foam insert that's one centimeter thick that can go between the lumbar pad and the frame for guys like yourself that uh, like, like a little I like more, a lot a little of thicker, lumbar. thick yep. lumbar. This hip belt for the first time at Kuyu, we're gonna have two different size hip belts. Yep. This is the large, extra large. We'll also have a small, medium. The large, extra large fits 33 inches and above up to about 44, and the small, medium is 28 to 33. Yep. And also, uh, the, sh the shaping of this hip belt may be hard to see in the video, but it's, it's got a kind of a concave shape that wraps around your iliac crest of your hip bones, really anchors this to your hip bones uh, more so than um, belts I've used in the past and you add in the lumbar pad that's adjustable you can get this thing to it just absolutely sits tight on your hips even with a lot of weight and I found that to be incredibly comfortable and efficient yeah and weight wise uh, the full frame and suspension is at uh, two pounds four ounces and that's for the regular size and then the large size is just an ounce and three quarters more so incredibly light on the suspension system we started with seam construction we looked started looking at reducing weight and we went with a double needle flat stitch, which you'll see along the bags, which is different than what we have in the icons. It's 20% lighter seam construction. And a big reason why this is an icon bag is in the old seam construction, that fabric's pulled together and stitched. And then we run binding on the inside of the stitching, which gives it a really nice clean appearance, but it's about 20% heavier to build a seam like this. This seems just as strong, if not stronger, not quite as pretty on the inside of the bag, but it's gonna reduce weight. And that's kind of the mentality we've had on this entire bag design and suspension design and frame design was to find ways to reduce weight. We started even down to the, to the seams and to the hardware, which um, we're, we're using a new hardware system on the bag, which is a removable tension lock. It, it saves weight. Um, they're incredibly strong and durable. Uh, we've done a bunch of stress testing on these and had, ha have yet to have one fail. Um, they are made out of nylon. You can put a lot of stress on them even if they um, aren't clasped and they'll open all the way up without breaking or cracking. And the other thing I really mm -hmm. like about it is if you happen to, to break a buckle, you can replace it in seconds. Yeah, really and you'll see the, we come, we, your bags will come with the, the 6,000 is going to have five additional accessory straps that all are using the same buckle, so you can interchange them throughout the bag, mm -hmm. which I think for field use is really important. Absolutely. So 6,000 cubic inch bag, start with pocketing. And this, the pocketing that we have on this bag is actually have the same pocketing on the two other bag sizes we have, the 1,800 and the 3,000. You've, you've got a lower pocket that can fit up to the largest size spotting scopes and an upper pocket that um, you can use for things that you need to get to uh, really quickly, um, your headlamps, your GPS, things like that. Uh, the 6000 has a 500 cubic inch lid, and this lid is not only expandable, it'll, it'll move up, but it also um, it's completely removable. Uh, there's a shroud underneath. There's two ways that you can uh, get your items in and out of this bag. If you have a really bulky item, you wanna go through the top, a top loader through the top shroud. It also has a 21 inch side zipper that gives you access to the main, the main pouch in here. And I've found in, in, in my trips that unless I'm really putting a big you know, chunk of meat or something like that in there that I can get all of my gear in and out of the side accessor. Yeah, I've had the same zipper. experience, I use so, that a lot. 
Yeah, so really, really nice feature there. Um, and then the three three thousand and eighteen hundreds, obviously they're not top loaders with the shroud and a lid. We're running a large horseshoe zip that runs all the way over the top, and both of them are set up the same. The three thousand eighteen hundred, just different volumes and different uh, size main compartments, um, but all similar setups. Each bag comes with a single stuff at pocket, um, which we recommend running your tripod in, um, or if you need to drop a water bottle in, you can use it. We left the other side clean for some, some accessory attaching um, and things that you can run on the side of the bag. So I already introduced the, uh, the weight of the uh, frame and suspension at uh, two pounds, four ounces. Uh, this 6,000 bag is 21 ounces, so you've got a total weight on the 6,000 of three pounds, nine ounces. For the 3,000 bag, is 12 ounces so you've got a total weight of right at three pounds and then for the 1800 bag you've got a total weight of your system at two pounds 13 ounces so incredibly incredibly lightweight yeah they turned out amazing so we'll take you through a little bit of the pricing on the on the new packs uh something to note these builds are a lot simpler uh, a lot more efficient and less expensive to build because of the seam construction the new frames less material easier manufacturing process, we are able to get really aggressive on pricing. We've also grown a ton uh, over the last three years. Went back to the pack manufacturer and was able to negotiate some really good pricing also from our fabric and trim suppliers. So um, you're gonna see some pricing that's that's really aggressive. Our frame and suspension is on the Ultra is $229.99. The 6,000 bag only is $119.99. The 3,000 bag only is $89.99, and the 1,800 bag is only $69.99. So you look at the Ultra 6,000 full kit, you're at $350, or less than $350. And that's an incredible price for a 6,000 cubic inch pack that's got these features and carry this type of load. And really excited about it, and happy to pass on the savings to you guys. And It's going to let a lot of guys get into this pack.